complaint is filed against a Greene County tubing company after videos of large crowds over the holiday weekend spark concerns about COVID-19. Take a look at the video from along the Sugar River in Albany. You can see long lines of people waiting to get on a bus to go tubing. They're not practicing physical distancing and few were wearing masks. New at 6, Tony Galley spoke with the county's public health director, the company, and its customers about the risk. A manager of this business who asks not to be identified nonetheless tells me that this 4th of July weekend as it relates to tubing was the busiest this business has ever seen. And she also says trying to stop the spread of the virus is part of the business's considerations. Video suggests otherwise. Long line of people, maybe over 100 people and maybe three or four or something like that wear masks out of all of them. The, the lack of the six foot distancing, um, the risk, you know, it certainly is a high risk situation. Greene County Public Health Officer Roanne Warden says her staff has given S&B tubing suggestions on crowd control. We actually encouraged use of an appointment system. While on the Sugar River, customers stay apart. The bus bringing them back to their cars after the float packed. No, and I don't think it's right. Thomas Parker lives near the business and its customers. And I think they're going to bring the virus here. Man. Inside the business, staff is masked. At least one customer getting off the bus is satisfied with precautions. We were within our own group, the people that that we knew and our family members, and uh, and also there were several people on the bus that also had masks on. Tubing and other water sports, given the restrictions associated with COVID-19 and the summer weather, are expected to remain brisk as health officials try to keep safety top of mind. In Albany, Tony Galley, 27 News. The owner of SMB Tubing Company declined to comment to 27 News. Unlike in Dane County, Greene County businesses are not under an order to limit capacity. Greene County officials say a citation could be issued to a business if a health hazard exists.